gold and we're still going to think that incredibly well written uh, these, this, this character these two characters in fact it's not just two characters it's probably about five different characters there you know, the early on Paul the one who just becomes the dark one the later dark one the fun one so uh, I, I'm very very happy with the way things are going what about him has made you grow fond of him? I love his duplicity, you know, I love the fact that he kind of changes things around and <clears throat> you've got to listen very, very carefully to what he says. You know, because you, 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 someone will say, you said this, he said, I didn't actually say that. <laughs> and you go, oh, no, he's done it again. <laughs> and finally, after a long day on set, what do you and the other cast members do to unwind? Oh, we got away, far away from each other as possible. <laughs> We're with each other 16 hours a day, it's like bye-bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Thank you, nice to talk to you. Hi. Doing, man, yeah, nice to see you again. again. Nice see yeah, you thank again. you for that yesterday. I do appreciate oh, it's a it. Uh, so I'm with Once Upon a Fan. We're here with Robert Carlyle at Comic Con, and um, the biggest question that we have for you is, you know, the prophecy with Henry being Marvel's grandson. Yeah. It kind of plays to both his good motivations to save him because his family, and also the bad motivations because yes. he's supposed to be his undoing. Yes. What can you tell us about how that's going to affect Rumpel in the third season? Well, I, I mean, obviously, this is the, the, the bizarre thing about coming to these things and to, to, to do press that you can't actually to tell you anything about it right. but um, what I can say is that the, the, at this point at the end of season two Gold believes his son is dead you know to him bellfire has gone so the only thing he can really do to in some way make up for the, the you know the fractious relationship he had with him is to kind of honor him in death by finding his son and protecting his son um, so that's what he's attempted to do despite the fact that um, as, the, as the seer says, this boy will be his undoing. So at, at the beginning of season three, Rumpelstiltskin's in a very, very dangerous place. He, uh, he could, he, it's pretty much a suicide mission for him. And who knows, it may well be. Cool. And the relationship between Rumpel and Belle is obviously very popular amongst the fans, you know. Um, their, their relationship took kind of a weird spin this year after she went across the town line and was yeah, shot. Yeah. That moment when Chip was broken was kind of heartbreaking for all the fans uh, too. I'll tell you what, for me as well. Yeah. I mean, that's why, I, I mean, it was a very emotional scene. I remember playing it, it was a very emotional scene because that little cup meant quite a lot to me as well, you know. Right, yeah. So smashed against the wall, I was like, uh. Yeah. And the episode Manhattan was, I think, one of the standouts of the season, so uh, not only for your performance, but also the character arc for everything. Um, that moment when Balefire bursts in and you kind of fall against the bookshelf, you can, I mean, it's a physical, you can feel yeah, the reaction moment. coming out of him. It was a huge moment. Um, as, and then also, too, I remember in the finale, there was kind of a question of whether he was going to give Belle the potion to have her remember. Mm. It almost seemed like Lacey yeah. was, his, like, the dark one's true love, so to speak. And it yeah. seemed like he was really conflicted, do I do this or not? But then the good side seemed to win out when he gave her the potion. Is yes. there gonna be like more of a, what can we see, are we going to see more of Belle and Rumpel together? I, can I know you can't really that. tell us that. No, I, I, think I, can do, I think I can tell you, I don't think anybody's gonna gag me to, to tell you that. Um, they will certainly meet up again, and believe it or not, they'll be meeting up in Neverland. However, it might not be in the fashion that you think. In typical Once Upon a Time of style. There's always a twist. There's a twist. Yeah. Uh, but they will certainly uh, they will certainly be meeting up again in, in Neverland. Excellent. Oh, cool. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Zachary. Zachary, yes. Zachary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.